Hello everyone, I'm Sui Chen. The title of my report is on the relationships between different methods for degree evaluation. This is a joint work with Zhe Junxiang, Xiang Yongzhen, and uh, Sha Sha Zhang. And this report is composed of four parts. First, we will give a brief introduction on the background of our uh, work and then discuss the degree evaluation of SPN and NFSR based server in part 2 and part 3. And finally, in part 4, we conclude our work. The output of symmetric ciphers can be regarded as Boolean function over the input variables. So, if a cipher x bit low algebraic degree, distinguishing attacks or key recovery attacks can be achieved, such as integral attacks, cube attacks, higher order differential attacks, and some algebraic attacks. So, it's very important to estimate a tight bound on the algebraic degree. And there are four effective long tight methods to estimate algebraic degree. First, for the SPM method uh, ciphers, there are two formula-based bounds. Uh, one is proposed by Bora and uh, Candide, we call it BC bound. Another is proposed by Carlit, <coughs> we call it Carlit bound. Uh, this example shows the effect effectiveness of the two bonds. The triple bond, which is the maximum degree at round 4, however, the two bonds give the degree of 29 at round 4, which is more accurate than the triple bond. For NFSR-based ciphers, Liu proposed the numeric mapping method, especially for trivium like ciphers, an efficient algorithm based on numeric mapping was given. The last one is division property. It's a generalized method. Uh, this is a definition of word-based DP, and this is the definition of two subsets, bit-based DP. <coughs> In the application of DP to search for integral distinguishers, we usually fix the input DP of cipher E and to judge whether the output DP of cipher E uh, oh, sorry, uh, to judge the minimum of the uh, output division property is no more than one or not. <clears throat> uh, when estimating the algebraic degree it's a reserve process. We need to fix the output dp to 1 and uh, maximize the input dp that can propagate to 1. Then the maximum of the input dp can be regarded as an upper bound on the algebraic degree. Note that this dp is bit-based dp. Uh, for the sake of convenience, we call it the bdp method next. Let us first focus on the SPN ciphers. From above introduction, we know the BDP is the whole process and the two bounds is an interpretive process when estimates the degree of SPN method. So <coughs> we cannot compare uh, them straightforwardly. So we have to construct the bridge to link them Okay, uh, this is our bridge. Uh, based on division property, we propose the bound on the composite function. Ft denotes the composition of T function of F. Wt omega F denotes the weight of minimum of output division property of Ft when we fix the weight of input dp to omega. Thus, the degree of this composition is upper bounded 
by the minimum of this site. Uh, it's simple to prove it. First, let W be this set. Assuming that for an arbitrary multi set X, it has division property of K0 and K0 analysis 1 belongs to this set. Let X be the input of FT and Y is the output of FT and it has a division property of K1. Moreover, let Z be the <coughs> output side of G and it, have division, it has division property of K2. Uh, from the so from the definition of set W, we have the division property of K1 is larger than the degree of G, and according to the propagation rule of division property through function, we have the division property of K2 is uh, less is low less than two. Note that the division property K2 can be calculated as follows. So we can deduce the degree of this composed function is less than k0 because degree is actually an integer. So the degree of this is no more than k0 minus is 1. Uh, because of the arbitrariness of set x and uh, k0, so the degree of this is no more than the uh, minimum of set W. That is our conclusion. Uh, note that uh, in this new bound, a T is fixed, uh, T is flexible. So now we set T to one. We can have this conclusion: is that our new bound is uh, tighter than BC bound. In order to prove uh, this conclusion, we need this lemma. It indicates the relation between the division property and the algebraic property of an um, uh, S-box. Now, let us prove the proposition 2. It's equivalent to prove the BC bounds actually belongs to this set. Furthermore, it's equivalent to prove when we fix the weight of input dp of f to bc bound plus 1, the output dp of the f is always more than the degree of function g. So, assuming that the victory of k to k star is the word based division 2 of function f, thus for any s box fj, kj to kj star is the word based division 2 of the S box SG. Thus, the weight of output dp of f can be written as this form. Uh, look that eta j is always no more than gamma. So we replace eta j by gamma. <coughs> now we can obtain this inequality. Furthermore, replace this sum by the left equation. So uh, we finally have the weight of our uh, weight of output dp of f uh, is actually more than the degree of uh, function g, and that is if we fix the weight of input <coughs> dp of fg to to, uh, to the bc bound plus one then the weight of output division property of f is more than the degree of g. So our conclusion holds. <clears throat> Similar, we can obtain the same conclusion when comparing the uh, colored bound. Here we omit the proof of this conclusion because the detail of this proof is Similarly, is similar to the proof of proposition 2. Now we can compare the BDP method with the BC bound and the Kalit bound on the degree evaluation of an R round cipher. 
Uh, this is our bridge by fixing t to different value and considering different type of division property, we have three models from this bond. In model one, we consider the bit based dp and the g is an identical function. We fix t to r. In model two, we consider word based dp and g is an identical function. We fix t to r. In model three, we consider word based dp and set t to one. This time, g is always varying with the round increase. Apparently, model one is equivalent to the uh, BDP method. And from previous analysis, the model three is more accurate than the two bonds. Moreover, bit-based DP is a more accurate DP and uh, word-based DP. Thus, model one is more accurate than model two. Furthermore, model two considers the influence of linear line on the DP on the division property uh, propagation. But the model three does not. So model two is more accurate than model three. As a result, we know BDP is equivalent to model one. Model one is more accurate than model two. Model two is more accurate than model three. Model three is more accurate than the two bonds. So finally, We have the BDP method is more accurate than two bonds. We apply the BDP and the two bonds to the underlying permutations of K chart and the K load ciphers. The results show that the BDP method can obtain the tighter algebraic degrees than the two bonds. <coughs> Now we focus on the NFSR based cipher. Assuming that there is a simplified stream cipher based on based on an N bit NFSR, uh, this is the uh, update process of interstate. Uh, G and uh, F are the update function and the output function. The encryption process can be simplified as this. Uh, we first propose two bounds on the DP degree of AND and uh, XOR operations as illustrated in uh, Proposition 4 and Proposition 5. Proposition 4 indicates that <coughs> the DP degree of a monomial is no more than the sum of DP degrees of the involved state. Uh, Proposition 5 indicates that the DP degree of a polynomial is equal to the maximum of the DP degree of the content monomials. Uh, both conclusions seem trivial but uh, not trivial to be proved, which is complex. So we omit the proof here. Uh, if you can, if you take some interest, you can refer to our paper. Now we compare the BDP method with numeric mapping on the division property <coughs> on the simplified uh, stream cipher. The conclusion is that for any state bit SI at any clock T, its DP degree is no more than its numeric degree. Here we give a brief proof. Uh, note that when t is equal to zero, the state is initial state. So both of the DP degree and numerator degree are equal to the exact degree. After one clock iteration, the DP degree can be uh, read as this form uh, from proposition 5, and this can be also read as this form from Proposition 4. So we have the DP degree of Sn at uh, clock 1 <coughs> is no more than the numerator degree. Similar, 
After t minus one times the iterations, we have the final conclusion. That is, for S n at clock t, its dp degree is no more than its numerator degree. We apply the BDP method and numeric mapping to trivium and the cream stream servers. We can see that the DP degree, <coughs> which is red, is always tighter than that of numerator degree, uh, which is blue. And uh, uh, we can see the gap between them are more and more distinct with uh, round increasing both for trivium and cribium. Okay, in this work, we give an argument on the relationships between the different long tight methods for algebraic degree evaluation. And we conclude that the uh, BTP method is the optimal one from the accuracy perspective. Additional, monomial Prediction and the three subset division property methods can be utilized to compute the exact degree, but they are time consuming if you do not try some optimization strategies because both of them need to enumerate the truth from input propagating to the output. Therefore, for a symmetric cipher, if you expect it to explore some special optimization strategies to get the exact degree, you can consider the monomial prediction or three subset division property method. But if you only want to have the overview on the degree of this cipher, the two subset division property methods will be the best choice. Okay, uh, that is all my report. Thanks for your listening.